Yo, what's up guys? We got Poe Game here. Today we are taking on the BDSP OU ladder with the threat, Licky Licky. Now Licky Licky happens to have excellent coverage. You already know that in BDSP OU, if anything has ice and fire coverage, it is automatically eligible to be in the OU Bachelor tier. So, I mean, I, I use Bastio Dawn with a choice specs and that mod actually cooked everything. So, of course, Licky Licky with good stats can do the exact same thing. Uh, plus, it can explode on Blissey, and it can Earthquake Heatran. So, already pretty decent. Has good, uh, just good stats all around. Good stats all around. So, I'm excited for this. We even have a Yam Mega, which sounds really fun as well. Uh, appreciates the fact that um, Licky Licky gets rid of Heatran. So, if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure you let me know. Leave a like. If you are new to the channel, subscribe. I'm on my way to 300k. That is my end of the year goal. And I do have a question of the day. Now, I don't typically ask questions of the day, but looking at Licky Licky, this kind of made me want to say, what is, why am I rhyming? Oh my god, I'm, oh, it's snowing outside too, it's just a, it's a Christmas miracle in March almost, but this, what is your favorite underrated Pokemon to use? Now, I had to think about this question myself, I wanted to say Ditto, is it fair to say Ditto as an underrated Pokemon? Obviously, Ditto can work in every tier because of its... Uh, ability, imposter, and transforms into you, but I just have some sort of satisfaction whenever I use that Pokemon. Now, if you answer this question with Lanners, Therian, Gliscor, Tapu Lele, Weavile, I will personally drive to you and shake your hand because those are very, very underrated picks, honestly. They're almost as underrated as my favorite Pokemon card, Charizard. So let me know down below, and we're going to look for a battle in the OU tier. Teams on my website, Pokemon.com, uh, teams from RTSK as well. Big shout outs to him. In this first game, Lose 50-50s. Oh my god. No, thank you. Uh, very, very threatening first game. Rotom is going to be very important. I do have Fizzlef Gliscor, so I should be able to live every hit from Lucario and Jirachi. Um, Licky Licky is super strong versus them. The the, uh, the, the yeah, Mega is really strong here too, which I like a lot. Oh, I kind of just want to start off with Licky Licky, man, and just get off some damage. But do I even live a Specs Tri-Attack from Porygon? This is, this is the answers that haunt me. This is a threat, man. Let's see. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Licky, Licky, my best friend in the world. Best case is they go Porygon. Is this even adaptability boosted? It is. Okay, so I can explode and KO Porygon. Um, and honestly, Porygon is a giant threat for me to switch into. So I kind of want to do this. I, I really do kind of want to do this. I'm going to do this. You can't stop me. You froze me right here. They didn't freeze me. That's it. Chop one up. That's that's one kill for Licky Licky. Ding. That's the, that's a little kill counter for Licky Licky. That's one little kill for Licky Licky. Rotom looks absolutely incredible now. Uh, it again, this is, this is a giant threat. That was Specs, obviously. So Rotom comes in. They go Jirachi. I'm going to Will O Wisp them. That way they can't really deal with Zone. I mean, not that they could deal with Zone anyway. Uh, and this is the annoying part because they're just going to U-turn here into uh, probably Heracross. Uh, that's fine. I think I go Scizor because we're Fizz Def and I can defog away. Oh, perfect. I get best case scenario here because I get to defog. That's great. Oh, and I get hit with this Doom Desire too, so it doesn't even matter. Now, I'm assuming their last move is U-Turn, so what I'm going to do is just bullet punch them first as they get up Stealth Rock just to get that chip. That chip is going to matter in the long run. Yum. And we are going to defog. Yep, there's a U-Turn. That sucks that they have a Thunderbolt because that actually makes this a little bit harder. I'm assuming uh, they go out into Heracross now because it's so strong versus me. Oh, Ozzy's a good play too, to be honest. Getting chip on that is really, really good for Yam Mega as well, so I'm going to do it. As they go right for the Bandit Waterfall, uh, but it's already in Yam Mega range, which is beautiful. I think... We actually make the Specs Magnus own play though and go for Specs Flash Cannon, considering it hits Gliscor upon switching. They make a very nice Jirachi play there. I still think that I'm pretty good with these two Pokemon. So, uh, what I'm going to do is just keep clicking Flash Cannon because I need to wear down this Pokemon. Can't really do much to me. I guess it can SD plus Doom Desire. Biggest threat is definitely Heracross, but yeah, Mega being able to pick off these guys is fine too. They probably Thunderbolt here. Yeah, so we get rid of this Mon. Beautiful. Beautiful from the start, right? Absolutely beautiful from the start. Lucario can come out and do its thing uh, if it wants to click uh, Swords Dancer anything right now. I'm going to stay in here and let this thing close combat me. <laughs> I do not switch into this Pokemon, and I'm not going to go Gliscor. I'm definitely not going to go Gliscor on the attack. So 
They get a moxie boost. Ooh, interesting. So that means they probably cannot touch my Gliscor. Because I'm Fizz Death, so I'm going to go for Swords Dance here. I didn't see Flame Warp, so we're going to go for Swords Dance here and just be a big problem for them. Unless they have Ice Fang, I feel pretty good. Uh, best case would be their U-Turn variant or Defog variant. So we're just going to Facade here as they do go for U-Turn. And nothing on their team can kill me. So at this point, I've already gotten the damage I need on Azumarill to, to beat that. So we just KO Zumura here, their Aqua Jet. Does not do enough for Lucario to knock me out at all. Doesn't do enough for their Gliscor. And Gliscor wins the game because I got rid of Porygon, which was their biggest threat. Uh, we just Roost here. Yeah, there's absolutely nothing. Even if they got an attack raise. And that's just the power of Fizz Death Gliscor. And we just go for Earthquake, knock them out. And I am way out of... Oh, there's the attack raise. A little bit of turn too late. Way out of range. Beautiful first win. Got rid of... Basically, look, we did what we had to do. We weakened Azumarill for plus two Earthquake. Um, if this had been Guts Heracross, it would have been a more of a yeah, Mega End game because this is only U-turn, so I can like do a lot of work with that. Uh, and plus, I can Giga Drain Black on uh, back on Gliscor too. But we got the damage we needed on Nazu. We got um, and we uh, assessed that this would be a, a U-turn variant. It could have been Swords Dance too, but to be honest, their team doesn't really have too many pivots to physical attack, so it makes sense that it's a U-turn variant as well as a Fizz Death one. But we got the first win, and we got a boom on the first one. You know, I count that as a, a double win. I count that as a double win. That's it, because I killed the Mon and, and the Gliscor did his work at the end. Really cool Jirachi set though, really cool Jirachi set. I like what it's trying to do. The Doom Desire plus what I'm assuming was Scarf Hair across. I think Guts would have worked a little bit better, but I understand that their team is just kind of slow. Uh, so now we have Trick Room. Kind of not what we want to see, but at the same time, it's okay. Uh, oh boy, I know that name. I wonder if they, if this, this is Envy's uh, account as well. Like, I've recorded with Envy on this account. I'm s <laughs> I, wanna, I wanna put a, I wanna put an emoji. I wanna put an emoji. Oh, let me put, oh, no, I can't reply to Envy. I'm just talking about something in that chat. Uh, let me see this. Where's the, this, this, this is the best emoji. This is the best emoji. Let me see if I can find it. No, I can't. Is it, ah, damn it. I can't find it. Whatever, Rotom and Trick is immediately. <laughs> Rotom and Trick immediately is the play. Uh, though they end up going with this Pokemon. Now, um, Gliscor can beat a lot of their team. Oh, they're also offensive too. I'm going to go archly hard Gliscor. I said it could beat a lot of their team, but I don't think it can. I legitimately don't think it can. So, I think this is fine, uh, considering how ridiculously weak they are to Magnezone. This is Specs, right? Oh my god, whoa! Whoa! I am so weak to this thing. <laughs> this is actually not looking very good at this point. I'm assuming that's modest too. How did that mod just die? Jeez, I went Glasgow just because it was useless, but uh Rotom Wash has to be. Damn, Specs Rotom Wash is a threat, bro. Plus one. Hydro Pump. Ah, oh, we don't know if they're modest or not. I'm forced to protect here. Which really sucks. I bet I'm still losing though. No, 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 no. I don't think so. No. You just click Thunderbolt with your mon and win. Uh, we're gonna go Scizor. Gonna default just in case they stealth rock. I didn't want to U-turn on their boom. Uh, this shouldn't be able to kill me in one. Yeah. And then I earthquake here and knock them out. Well, if they go bronze on, that's fine too. Oh, they went hard into Crawdon. Can I win from this position? Not with you. All right, we're gonna bring out you and we're gonna Fire Blast now. I'm gonna Fire Blast immediately into bronze on. <laughs> I have been outplayed, but you know what? I am, I had no metal, metal on this. No, no, I have no damage on this. I can trick with Rotom, but without Pain Split, there's, I don't think there's a way I can win this. I'm just boom. Even if they go Bronzong, this is still my better play to get damage off on them. Yeah, so that did so much damage. My god, is this offensive? Are right, you guys ready for the greatest, yeah, mega game of all time? The greatest, yeah, mega game. It actually can win with uh, double protection stuff, so we protect here for sure. We protect here for sure, obviously. There's Stealth Rock. 
they're gonna boom. Surprise, they're going for Stealth Rock there. Are you, are you trying to 6 on me? Is that what you're trying to do? It looks like it. <laughs> My guy's trying to 6 -0. Unfortunately for them, this Mon is too powerful. He did 6 on me. GG. Yeah, I... I, I <laughs> I don't know uh, versus Specs Rotom what my switching is because my water resist was the Pokemon that was in. So I got absolutely crushed. I got absolutely crushed in that. Uh, this is basically I just went this just in case they they would Volt Switch. But we do have Stall or a variation of Stall. Um, yeah, Mega looks pretty decent here. Same thing with Licky Licky, basically weakening things. Uh, I want to trick immediately with Rotom. That's always the best play. Although not the Tangrowth. I don't think tricking Tangrowth is fine. I think we just go Scizor and uh, take the sleep, burn a couple turns, defog a couple turns. We'll be fine since they can't really kill Scizor with their team. Oh, this is uh, this is Blim's team. This is Blim's team. I don't. What I don't want to happen here is I wake up and they knock off my Gliscor, right? So I would rather. I want to get in Gliscor to get its Toxic Orb. I think this is Swords Dance Skarmory as well. We were leftovers when we played it. So I wake up guaranteed here. Yeah, I guarantee wake up here. Yeah, I didn't really have a trick room matchup. If I was min speed, licky licky, maybe. I had no trick room matchup. Spetch Run was the coolest thing on their team, though. I'll, I'll for sure I'll admit that. That was the sickest thing on their team. Again, I don't want to really switch on on this mod because I want to keep my uh, Mega's Life Orb. So even if I have to waste a couple more turns, like they, they shouldn't, in theory, beat me down. Just get in Hippo so I can get in my Gliscor. All I want to do is get in Gliscor activated. There we go. That's all we got to do now is get Gliscor activated. I'm pretty sure this is Fire Fang. Yep, there's a Fire Fang. Do we get burnt? Oh my god, dude. <laughs> That's amazing. That's such a good turn. All that just to get burnt. So we're not we're doing really well here. I'll be completely honest. It did get a little bit better by them giving me this turn. But I, that still really, 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 really sucks, man. Actually, I'm still looking good with specs. This is Ice Beam, right? Or Thunder Wave. Yeah, so... I don't mind being paralyzed, it means I can't be slept. <laughs> don't have heal bell or healing wish support. <laughs> this damn hippo. This damn hippo. You really burnt my glass score. Facade is still boosted, which is fine. Okay, this is what we want to do. Always voltage here. So, what we want to happen is. We want this mod to come out because this mod has absolutely no switchings. We'll flash cannon once just to see if they go hippo before going blissey. Because if blissey heals, that's fine. Oh, they opt to stay in with Tangrowth. Beautiful. So I get rid of Tangrowth. Amazing. That would have been annoying for Gliscor to break. We're being burnt. If it was poison, I think it breaks it all the time. Slowbro comes out. I should be good, even if they come mine, I'm pretty sure. I just Willow, and then Specs Thunderbolt still deals with everything. Yeah, cut money up multiple times doesn't matter, I think. Because I just boom on them with Licky Licky. There should be a boom with Licky Licky. <laughs> I, I know my Licky Licky is about to get burnt right now. I know it's about to get burnt by Scald right now, but luckily they didn't go for it. So we're going to boom. If they go Skarmory, it just means I trap it with Magnezone, so that's not the end of the world. Yep. Got another kill with that boy. Let's go. Uh, Rotom is still the best play, it looks like. I'm pretty sure this is Combine, uh, Wish, Clefable as well. I Volt Switch on you. From what I remember, you do not have Shot Shot when we played it. Yep. Just click Flash Cannon here. 
though, because I, it's just the best play. It doesn't let Clef come in. I don't want to Volt switch out on Hazards. We should still be good. Blissey comes out. I need to be careful around this one, too. They do Ice Beam there, which is perfect. Because now I can bring you out in default. Guaranteed. And then... Yeah, Mega gets its kill. <laughs> Being Choice Carp is so funny. Also, I live Fire Fan from Hippo very easily, so... Come on, man. I'll defog here just because... I don't want my yeah, Mega having to deal with this, and it means I can land a Hydro Pump. I don't know what Blissey's even supposed to do to me. <laughs> if I could just land Hydro Pump, I can just Flash Cannon. If they go Clef, I'm good. Bro, max turns every single time. I would have an infinite wall. <laughs> Unfortunate. Which is will o though. They had Thunder Wave, Ice Beam. Uh, Soft Boiled. I think Heal Bell. So provided you know, I don't get frozen, and I want to keep this mon semi-healthy if I can. Provided I don't get frozen on my Magna Zone, I think I win. I'm going to risk it because I can lose this game. Oh, never mind. They went to that first, so I get free flash cannons off now, which should 2 AKO Blissey. It should. I don't think this beats me 1v1. How many do I have left? Oh, I have 13. This is Blissey's gonna take at least two. I think a Paladin gets two AKO'd. I think Blizzy gets two AKO'd as well, yeah. Easily. And I uh, could be faster. Okay, get some death drops, which is very important. <laughs> very important. Hell yeah. Dude, when tricking a choice card, it's actually back. Oh, it's a speed tie. Are you kidding me, bro? I gotta be really careful versus Clef. It being a speed time makes it annoying. Why did I lose the first one then? Good. Good, 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 good. That's for the, that's for the speed time loss. And also, that's for the fire fang burn. Okay, all we gotta do is get in Rotom. Willow is the Clefable. Because Sand is up. Oh, Willow is being, I guess, hit out on beans that, yeah, Mega beats it 1v1 too. But yeah, Willow is the Clefable. Because we had Sand plus Burn Chip on it. Nice. Then we Volt Switch here. As long as Clef dies... Like, they can't wish and heal Clef and pivot into Hippowdon to waste my PP at the same time, you feel me? So I always go Magnezone as a Moonblast. They didn't even wish, so we're good. If they protect here, they still take Sand plus whatever, and then they're going to die to Hydro Pump later, so we're good. Yeah, we're looking pretty good now. I should be able to win the game with the Omega... All they do is protect, so they still take the extra turn of the, the sand and burn, which is great. That's Hydro Pump range. Beautiful. And at this point, I just flash cannon the hippo. Yeah, so this is a salt team that Blim and I used. Pretty mad his own week, I'll be honest. I might as well see if you can kill this with Giga Drain, why not? Right? At the end of the day, I have Hydro Pump, so it can't stall them out. And I want to see if Modest Life or Mega can do it. It couldn't. <laughs> Fire Fang wasn't going to kill me. I have 209 defense. That's a damn shame it didn't kill. I just want to see how much Giga Drain did. I'm going to look for another game. Alright. You got the win there. The disgusting 6-0 before that. Really, really sick team. I feel like I've played this, and it's like Scarf Heatran. Um, and the Rose Ray is going to be probably the more annoying one. Especially if it's Sash. I'm going to use the Omega early. Instead of using it to win in the late game, I'm going to use it to just put pressure on their Pokemon very early. Uh, I don't deal with Rotom the greatest. Especially if they're Scarf. But I didn't want them to lead off with Rose Raid and just kind of, you know, sleep pad or something. And then me have maximum turns of sleep. Rotom, I need a Weegan. Magnezone goes crazy in this game. It's just good. It's just overall good. There's the pump. What much Bug Buzz does? There's the Heatran. It's leftovers. This actually should be more. 
I do not want them will o my glide score. Yeah, so... What I'm gonna do here is go glide score now. I don't want like random will o or lava plume burn. I'd rather get in glide score semi-safely. Why? Yeah, wow. All that to just go Jirachi. Are you gonna... What are you even gonna do to me with Jirachi? What? What can Jirachi even do at the moment? <laughs> Is working on some stuff. Jirachi. You don't have trick. You can't touch me. You can only pivot. Oh, okay. So you were pivoting out to run him. That's a good play. That's a good overall play. Now that Glass is activated, I feel better versus each I feel better versus a lot of their team. Um while I like the Fizz Def because the team is weak to Lucario. Ugh, I wish I missed Bedef on this team because I don't I don't like Licky Licky taking hit, you know? I'm gonna see if I can burn this. Just to get some overall chip as they go Rose Raid. Uh, that should be a free Glide Score. And just click Facade here. The Giga Drain, but that doesn't matter too much. We're not fighting a lot of. Um... Actually, I Facade again. We're not fighting a lot of. What is that damage roll, bro? <laughs> hey, calm down, brother. I know this next one about to be 56%. Yeah, calm down. I'm SD up so I can beat him in one. Then we roost now. We're not finding a lot of scissor plus glide score, which is sad. So that's still my best play because it hits Rotom. They're doing so much to me, but I, I should be able to do a knock them out with that, exactly. And I still switch it on Heatran, which is great. And I still threaten Azu, which is great. More importantly, they're, they're switching to uh, Magnazone involve more prediction now. So, if they want to do anything versus me. I'm going to use my Scizor here. If they Waterfall, that's fine. They end up Aqua Jetting, which is actually banded, so that's great too. We Defog here. Bring out Rotom and Trick immediately. Whether it be Jirachi or that. That's banded uh, Azu for sure. So I guess they were worried about me knocking them out. I feel like this was Specs Jirachi last time I played this. Oh. Cool. Goes for Stealth Rock. They have no they have no Volsor switchings. Great. Is this guy Specs again, bro? I'm gonna be so mad if this is Specs again. I think I just always Volt Switch. It did 20. There's E-Tran. Perfect. So it gives me Glide Score, which is great. I want the Root. Uh, basically, I want Glide Score so I can get a Roost. Uh, I want to be able to... I don't care if they like go Ozu after. They're insane for saying it with E-Tran. They need that mod. Easy Facade on Rotom. Alright, so I'm still out of range of that. And they've just taken so much more damage. That basically, the reason I said they were insane if they go that is because they just let me Yen Mega them if they give me the, the Heatran. So they're going to Hydro here. I do want to be able to defug away these rocks as well. Run takes it. Is that actually fast? That has to be fast Heatran, right? Like, you took, you took so much damage. You took 52% from Heatran, which is insane. Um... Still have Yen Mega at Licky Licky at the end, which is what I'm kind of using to, to bait things out. This is, might be a sack, though. Instead of using Scissor to pivot, I'll just go in. If it lives a Hydro Pump, I can Bullet Punch for a little bit of chip. Plus, they can miss, so... Alright. So now we can go out to you and beat a Pokemon. End up going Jirachi, which is fine. It is Choice Scarf now, so it can't really do much. It Doom Desires. I'm an Earthquake now. You're insane. Hey, it worked out for them, though. I can't even be mad. Like, I could. I thought they'd just go Ozzy. I should have just uh, uh, facaded again. That was a bad play on my part. But they're insane, and it worked. But Glide Score is so good in this game that it doesn't matter. I just bump there. It's time, buddy. F free Fire Blast. Get this threat out of my sight. Get this threat out of my sight. I 
Fire Blast again. It was a Psychic variant. I remember that. Let's throw it out of here. They can Rotom me, but they only have three Hydras left, which is very funny. I have to be super careful about this Azu Aqua Jet sweeping me, though. It's gonna explode. Dude, this Azu can actually Aqua Jet sweep me, which is very sad. If I go zone, uh, it puts me in that range to lose to that. That's fine. Exactly. They should never switch at this point, so... I Earthquake and knock them out. They go Rotom, which only has one Hydro left. So we just go yeah, Mega. Bring out you and Flash Cannon into Dawn Fan. Flash Cannon again. Does Hydro even knock out Gliscor from full? Oh, I think they just Aqua Jet win. No, Hydro still has to hit. They've hit every Hydro so far as well. Well. Assuming they still have to hit Hydra no matter what, right? It's better to guarantee the KO on this mod. So let me just go Gliscor here. Yeah. Because assuming they have to hit no matter what, I might as well just click Thunderbolt. This team needs rocks. <laughs> I always feel like I say that whenever... Like, look how many times this Rotom got away. I'm trying to think if I should make it Spadef Gliscor. It has some spadef, but I don't think it lives Hydra from full. If it did, then I... Oh, I mean, this is... That's specs. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that spec. Let's get rid of that specs. Yeah, it always... 97 to 115. Yeah, it always killed. So I get rid of this Pokemon. Good game, dude. Ah! I made the correct play on 1 HP. Let's go. We take those. We absolutely take... Okay, so that was the correct sequence of plays. Um... But yeah, we absolutely take that. I feel like Aqua Jetting was the no drawback. No, they if they Aqua Jetted my Magnazone, I kill it, and then they only have one Hydra left. What am I talking about? They had to Waterfall. Yep. Okay, they had to Waterfall there. So that was my bad. Uh, for not, I want to I wanna kill two Pokemon in one game with this Pokemon, okay? And even if one of them is myself, I want to make sure I'm getting rid of other Mons too. Please. Please let me. I messed up in that game, though, by not clicking Facade. I definitely thought they'd stay in one turn with Jirachi and then pivot, though, because that's what I would have done. But I need, to, I need to play the team to its advantage. This is what I like to see, though. Definitely what I like to see. Hell yeah. All right, Rotom's just great. Rotom's so good here. That's offensive Rotom, which is good, too. Maybe they Volt Switch the same. Uh, I don't think I need Scizor in this game, so I'm willing to go out to it on their Volt Switch. Or Willow, that's fine too. Just a free U-turn for me. I already got the damage I needed on Offensive Rotom. Gonna bring out Rotom here again and simply Hydro. Because Water Resist on their team are pretty bad. And this should allow me to get my Gliscor activated. So I can pivot in on Infernip a little bit better. If they U-turn, great play too into for Alligator, but I do have Scarf Rotom, so I'm okay with this. that. Yeah. So this lets me get Glasscore activated again. I'm really worried about Infernip. Hmm. Oh man, I'm sorry. I was just reading a comment from Envy. Uh, so Rotom comes out. Can Hydro me? Always Scizor is the play. Uh, I get a very lucky dodge there. It is pretty lucky too because like if they try, if they choose to stay in and do damage, uh, I U turn and get more chip on them. I really do just want to hydro again too. Always, because I don't want to bring out Licky Licky on like the turn they're gonna bring this mon out right. Because Licky Licky booms Uncle Fable and it earthquakes Jirachi. Oh, this is such a good. 
This is such a good hydro for me. I'm going for it again. That's such a good turn. And them going hard for Alligator is insane. Like, they take a lot of damage from me. As good as Yamega is to win this game, I literally have to attack them. Because if they Dragon Dance up again on Zed Protect, I lose. So I'm going to... Uh... Yeah, Giga's right here. Goodbye, my child. They're going to go Goliath Score, man. They're really going to... I know they're going to go Goliath Score. I know they're going to go Goliath Score. Let me double the Yam Lucky thing. I'm doing it. Oh, no, they used... They switched. It's fine, though. I could have also hydroed there, but it was like... I would rather make this risk. Where are you going to now? You can't touch me. Yeah, you get up your Stealth Rock. And I cooked this Pokemon. Let's go. Fire Blast to kill him as well, just in case they you turn out to Rotom. Yup, come on, Licky Licky. Let's go, baby. Hey, the Scarf Rotom is gone. Let's go. All right, so Infernape is going to come out and claim something now with Flare Blitz, but look how good this Pokemon looks now. Oh, they CC there. Interesting. Well, I'm going to get my... Oh, it's not. I have no idea what that was, what this set is, but I basically Swords Dance here for free. Because Rotom is the one that's going to win me this game. Yep, they go Glide Scroll, which is going to have... I should have a slow U-turn versus me. Yep, and I get a plus two facade off on something. I don't know if they're unaware of Clefable. We'll find out right now. Oh, yes. Yes, they were. <laughs> the answer will not shock you at all. Um... Gonna Volt Switch in case they're crazy and go Jirachi. Okay, they're they're insane and go Infernape instead. What the hell? <laughs> Yo. That's actually insane. <laughs> Goodbye. Uh Scissor lives a hit from every Pokemon, so that's why I like this play. Alright, get my U-turn off. Maybe they'll crunch. Waterfall. Uh, Hydro Pump is free now. They should probably sack Jirachi. Well, Hydro Pump will 2 KO Gator. I guess there is the risk of me missing. But basically, if they go Glide Score, they're screwed. So I want to be able to Volt Switch forever. Yeah, they should sack Jirachi, exactly. So we get rid of Jirachi. Beautiful. The Fable comes out. I'm gonna go zone anyway. Making the same Volt Switch play right now. All I gotta do is get in a position where I can click a uh, Hydro Pump or Rotom, so I feel okay. I'm gonna sack the U turn so they can't touch this. Oh, I can actually get rid of the rocks here, so. I wanna Volt Switch so badly again. I want to Volser so badly again. I want to Volser so badly again. I want to throw. <laughs> Do you hear me? I want to throw so badly. No, run is the best play. Hydro's still free. We get in Scizor now to Defog. Perfect. Perfect. So we get rid of rocks, which is amazing for Rotom. Amazing for the game in general. Still gonna vault every time. I don't know if their last move is Calm Mind. My god, that mon just took 60. That mon literally just took 60%. Holy crap. Yeah, I don't think this is a winning play for them, though. I suppose I could miss my Hydros at the end of the day. But I'm not, I'm not risking, I'm not missing Hydros because I know they're going Glide Score. Dude, that's such a win for me. Really? Come on, man. That's such a win for me if that hit.
That's an immediate win for me if I hit that. I just click Thunderbolt in front and then <laughs> Volt Switch twice. Oh, well. How come my last opponent couldn't miss any Hydros? Have to go zone. Have to Flash Cannon here. I have one Hydro left for Gliscor. Basically, I have to kill Gliscor or Gator. But yeah, if I kill Gliscor, it's a win. If I kill Clefable, I can SD up with this guy and then get a, a free hit on this guy. That's a damn shame. <laughs> now I might lose this game. My god, that dude is hella fizz death. You know what? I'm gonna trick here on Clef. I'm tired of this. I'm gonna make sure I win now. It risks for alligator setting. As long as I don't let for alligator set up, I'm good always, basically. So we get in Rotom, yeah. Basically, as long as I don't let for alligator set up, we're good. Doesn't matter if they U-turn there. Again, as long as I don't let Gator set up for free. As long as I hit Will-O-Wisp on it, I'm good. I'm still going for the same thing because I don't want them pivoting back on that thing on a Hydro Pump. Just let me hit you so that way my Magnezone wins. Please. Okay, just land. I literally just lost to stupid Gly score because this move can't hit. Are you serious right now, man? I'm actually heated about that. I miss my hydros, but my last dude can hit every hydro on me. Holy crap, man. What a game. What a game, man. What a game. Literally one Hydro has to hit on Gliscor. Either the one where I predicted or the one there. But that Gliscor managed to dodge everything. They were Fizz Def Gliscor too. They took 70% from my mana zone. So the second I hit that, I basically, I will lose for Alligator. As long as that lands, uh, it can't kill me in one. I Vault Switch, and then I have too many sacks, and Burn ends up knocking it out. That's a damn shame, dude. I'm a little annoyed about that. Also, my boy uh, yeah, Mega's been underperforming, but if this is not a yeah, Mega game, I don't know what is. What the hell? What did I just do? Get out of here, Gliscor. Don't infiltrate my background. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Alright, alright, alright. Rotom is just strong overall. Uh, very strong. We're going to Willow is theirs. Just in case they're defensive as they Volt Switch. Um, they are offensive, it looks like. That looks like offensive damage. Willow is just so strong versus everything. They're getting Gliscor, which is free, obviously. But um, this is going to allow them to U-turn out into the other homie. Uh, I'm just going to facade on their U-turn into hopefully Rotom. That Crawdon is a problem, right? Every single time it comes out, that Crawdon's a problem. But it came right out, though, so I don't know how I feel about that. Because I do lose them on... Mm, maybe? Zone is still good. Actually, I don't lose them on... Well, I mean, I do, but like... I get the chip I need, is what I'm saying. With uh, Bullet Punch, so that way I can knock them out later. Ooh, I can respect that play. I defog. Basically, if they flare blitzed me, I was fine. But I just defog here. It worked out for me. Let's go. This really sucks because my Licky Licky isn't very strong in this game. But it can kill this core. So I like it for that. The ideal situation for me was being able to uh, live that hit. And then keeping Scizor as a sack for Infernape. Which did 12%. Which Does that mean Bandit Infernape or does that just mean Scarf? Where are you? That is Bandit Ape. Good to know. Basically just didn't want rocks up if I can help it. Because look how strong Yamega is now. Yamega looks crazy good. Yamega actually looks crazy good. I resist 
one of the uh, two of the main priority mo or, or Infernape plus Braylon's Moth Punches, obviously. So I'm strong versus that. Braylon comes out. Toxic Orb. Gonna trick this guy so it can't do anything annoying versus me. I'd rather get Toxic Orb. There we go. I'm chilling now. I meant to click Volt Switch there, and I am bad. <laughs> yeah, I deserve to die for that. But it's fine. Because this Mon looks insane, too. So we're just going to click Ice Beam. Go ahead and give me this Glide Score. There we go. Bam. Cardon comes out. I sack you. Click Volt Switch with you, and you look insane now. SDU goes crazy. They probably sack this. If they go run them, they're insane. <sighs> I'm so mad I, I misclicked the Volt Switch because then I had to sack run them to that Glide Score. That's so whack because now they get up rocks. Endgame's looking a little bit scarier. I don't live Hydro. Forced to go Licky. I do have Protect, so... And I do have the one turn of this. Do a Fire Blast, just in case they randomly switch out the Scizor there. Vault Switch here. The problem is Aqua Jet, obviously, right? Like, Aqua Jet is obviously the problem. I'm gonna Protect once. I think I can cheese this. Can I cheese this by going for Giga Drain? No. Every single time, these damn... Uh, I might be able to cheese this by going for Giga Drain. I'm going to cheese it. I'm going to see if I can cheese it. Yeah, 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 okay. So the play is to, this is, this is what I meant by this, because I think I can lose anyway. So the play is to get the first turn wake here. They do not get the roll versus me, and I knock them out. Oh my god, I actually cheesed it, holy crap. Let's go. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Okay, perfect. They go scissor. I am going to devour this scissor. They go in front of it, that's fine too. Simply sack your Mega there. Bring out you. Sack. Ah, I probably just lose. What? That was the biggest choke, dude. Oh my god, I probably just lose though. Um I have to keep you alive and dodge some hydros. I basically just need to dodge one Hydro, like my opponents have done with their Goliath scores. That was it. That's all I needed to do. That was all I needed to do, was dodge that one Hydro. Legitimately all I needed to do. Thank you. Thank you, game, for doing something that you took from me. Again, rocks need to be on this team. Uh, I'm just going to... But this guy needs to be Swords Dance, too. I'm going to just kill him right now, because nothing on their team can kill me after. Then while I'm getting a blaze, this can never beat me. Yeah, one miss. Let's go for another. I'm going for one because I'm not satisfied with that one. And then uh, that should be the last game. These scarf rotoms are really messing me up because of my lack of hydro pump. Looky looky isn't being bad though. Like it's, I mean, it's picking up KOs. I just happen to be fighting. I don't know why I'm fighting so many specially defensive Jirachis. Like, where's the Scizor Glide Score Court? You know what? I know what this team needs. I haven't fought one Mammal Swine, and honestly, this not being fully special defensive so it can always take hits from Rotom is messing me up. So, that's what this team needs. Because as long as I can take all hits from Rotom, I'm going to be good. I think so. 
But yeah, I've been uh, I've been going back and forth between PSP and Sword and Shield. I don't I, I don't enjoy Sword and Shield OU as much by myself, but it's obviously fun with friends, especially when we're just messing around and having a good time on the ladder. But yeah. I do think the Omega is the weakest link on this team. Something with frogs. Heat drink could work. Mammal swine. Uh, literally Garchomp. Trying to think. Cleft works too with Stealth Rock as well. Before I, before I get the last game, obviously. I just... I think the yeah, Omega is legitimately the weakest link. Like, I become weaker to Braylon without it, so I want something that can deal with Braylon. That can get up rocks. <laughs> why, is, why is nothing coming to my mind at the same time? Grass. Let's see what we got. Torterra can get up rocks, I know that much. Yeah, none of these are... I mean, some of them are decent Braylon answers, but none of them are what I want. I would rather have Garchomp, which appreciates this guy, and I can do SD Rocks on that. Eh, but that's not really... Whatever, we'll keep the team as it is for now, but I would definitely uh, change that version of it. I, I would change that. I'd probably change um, the Scizor as well, to be honest. It's like a Clef, potentially. Anybody playing Elden Ring, by the way? Good team, good team. But this is why we have special defensive scissor. Oh, this is also why they have special defensive scissor. And theirs looks banded. <laughs> that's all right. SD up immediately. You know what? I don't know why I felt like this guy's gonna play crazy. Yeah. I don't know why I felt like that guy was gonna play real crazy. Just facade here. They knock off, which doesn't matter to me. It actually means they're knockoff. Oh, so they're knockoff U-turn Earthquake Roost, maybe? Interesting. Rotom comes out. I have to keep my Rotom healthy, but... Kill this guy. Smash them with this. Okay. Uh, I'm still under the same dilemma, man. Yeah, I'm still in the same dilemma. Like, the... The lack of water resist in this one is really hard. I'm about to put a character in here. Okay. Good. Good start for me. I can smash him right now by going Gly score. Because they should go Heatran always. Or I guess if they're Scarf Rock to him, they do that. Yep. Alright, so now we SD. On uh, Gly score. They could go Rotom as well just because they already got Chip on me. I'm SD here. <laughs> this damn Rotom is so frustrating, bro. This Rotom is so frustrating. That did so much damage. Alright, so the good thing is, I can go this now. I'm gonna Earthquake. Actually, I think I Fire Blast. Fire Blast is the best play. Hey, we landed on Scizor. So Scizor got cooked. Beautiful. That's one Pokemon I need to kill. Braylon comes out. Gonna make the Gliscor play as they Drain Punch there. I'll make the Licky Licky play right now, too. Oh, okay. I froze it, which is amazing. <laughs> like, actually amazing. That's because I get to go zone now. I'm glad they tricked me. I'm very, very glad they tricked me. <laughs> they are going. To, they're going to destroy me. When, I know they're going to thaw, but I'm going to risk it. Just stay frozen. They're really, really slow. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, that Mon is dead. Bro, look, my luck versus these Rotoms in the last few games has been insane. Oh, you can die too. I'm Fizz Def, so, I mean, if I get rid of this, this is amazing. Get out of here. I just gotta outplay for Alligator, which is gonna be annoying. I think I go Licky Licky as a Waterfall Raw. I'm just 
just gonna boom. Okay, they go that. I'm doing it. I'm tired of this guy. Finally! It worked for me. We go, yeah, Mega now as they DD. Or we go this as they DD, excuse me. Always Volt Switch as they knock me out. They don't even knock me out, so we win. God. And then Glasgow just comes out, gets his little poison heal, so it's out of range of a crit. Oh, man. I've been so lucky versus these Rotoms. But whatever, man, we take those. All right, I'm leaving it at that. I... Rotom definitely a pain for this team. Um, Breloom would be a decent, yeah, like like Toxic or Breloom would probably be pretty decent here. And it appreciates the fact that Gliscor, Scizor, etc. are all gone. It doesn't help with switching into fire type attacks, but like you could also make Gliscor more special defensive in that regard. Also, Gliscor being max special defense would hella help the team too, because these Hydro Pumps, uh, you just live them all. <laughs> but yeah, definitely a few changes the team needs. Uh, for sure, I think Breloom is like, the best one too because Crawl aren't super weak but or super strong versus this but hope y'all enjoyed uh, let me know your thoughts down below on your most underrated Pokemon I'll see y'all next time peace